Hey, uh, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about the uh, flash point and smoke point of different types of oil. We're going to talk a little bit about kitchen safety and uh, what we would need to do in our kitchen here at you know Salem High School in case we had a fire in the kitchen. Um, first of all, our focus activity today was about flash point, smoke point, and you know regular general handling of oil in the kitchen or fat in the kitchen. Uh, Faith, what does what does the smoke point? When we put the fat in the pan and it gets ready to start, uh, you know, when it starts smoking, that means it's, you know, it's, it's hot enough to get close to catching on fire. And what does flash point mean? Well, it's, it's, it's ready. When the flash point, when it gets to the flash point, that means it's going gonna, it's gonna to start to fire. Smoke point means it's, you know, starting to get there. The flash point, that's at the point where it's going to ignite. Okay? So, uh, and the thing about it, you have to be really, really careful about this, you know, this oil thing. If you have something that's damp and it's really wet and you toss it down into some oil, it could splash on you. You know, um, you've got to watch the, the fat. Don't let it get too hot because it will explode on you. You know, I can tell you, I've been around a long time and these, this stuff will blow up, you know. Uh, this butter, uh, the, this, this is margarine here, and uh, if we look at this margarine, um, it's got a good bit of, of water in it. This, uh, this, this has a good bit of water in it. If we use a European butter, it's going to have a lot more uh, fat in it. And the thing about this pan uh, here, we, we're not going to, an aluminum pan, we're probably not going to get enough heat for it to go to the flash point. You know, butter's got a relatively low uh, flash point to it. You know, the smoke point's right around 300. When you per first put that margarine in there and all that sizzle that you got, that wasn't just because it was starting to, uh, you know, uh, the butter's roll. That's the water actually evaporating off of it. Remember, evaporation happens at 212. Remember, water evaporates and fats melt, okay? You can see that this is already burned, okay? It's already to the smoke point, okay? Um, the flash point, I don't think we're going to get enough heat generated in this aluminum pan for it to come to the flash point. If we had a cast iron pan here and, and this, this type of heat, let me explain something to you about this electric heat. Uh, electric heat here, it's going to have, it's either going to be hot or it's going to be, uh, if, we, if we bring it up to temperature, it's going to be hard for it to go back down. It's, it's slow to come up and slow to go back down. So I always turn another burner on in case I, I'm trying to cook something too uh, hot. Okay, but you can see that this is at the smoke point. What's going to happen with this fat is that the proteins are going to just start to uh, coagulate. It's just going to start to uh, cook, and uh, and it's going to start to uh, uh, just harden in the bottom of that. It's going to be like a glaze. It's not going to go anywhere. It's still going to just be there. Okay, so I I'm asking you, don't let it get to this point. This, you don't need this. This butter is now ruined. If you put anything in here, it's going to have a burned flavor to it, okay? You know, very few dishes we would want a burned flavor. Uh, now, in case this catches on fire, we have a fire extinguisher that's located right over here at the front pillar, okay? This is a Class K fire extinguisher. It's for grease, oil, deep fat fry, fryers, whatever. Anything that we would have here in the kitchen that would um, catch on fire. And there's a simple acronym that you can remember with this, okay? If this would happen to catch on fire and it gets out of control, when I say out of control, and I tell you to go get the fire extinguisher, run get the fire extinguisher, like I said, it's located right here at the front pillar. If I'm not around and you have to be the one to do it, it's a simple acronym. It's called PASS, P-A-S-S, -S, okay? Pull the pin, aim the nozzle, pull the, uh, squeeze the trigger, and sweep it at the base of the fire. Pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. P-A-S-S, -S, okay? When I, when I aim it at the base of the fire, stand back and do it in a Z pattern, top to bottom, okay? Pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. That's the simple, that's all you have to do, okay? Now, if it gets out of control, which I, we'll never have a fire, let me just say this, I, I don't think we'll ever have a fire that will get out of control in here, okay? If it would get out of control, Right over there, uh, please pan over there so they can see that. 
right over beside the telephone, there is a pull station. Okay? That pull station operates, if you'll just pan right up here and look at these nozzles, it operates these nozzles. Okay? Right back in the back of the room, back over here at the top, is two canisters that operates all of these hood vents. Okay? What happens is if it gets out of control, and I say go over there and pull the pull station. Somebody runs over there, pulls the pull station, and these caps pop off of this and a big foam is over our whole kitchen. Okay? And let me just say this, that's something that you only do in the instruction of me. Okay? If you do it on your own, then you will probably be uh, out of school for a long period of time and it won't just be 10 days, so you get the message. This is only done when I instruct you to, unless I happen to not be in this kitchen. And, and at that point, you know, if it's a fire and everybody you agree that you need to do it, you can start to see that this is really starting to smoke now. I mean, this is really getting close to getting on fire. Uh, we're not generating enough heat for it to, to uh, for it to catch on fire. If we had a cast iron pan here, this would have already been blowed up. Okay. So, um, does anybody have any questions about fat? smoke point, flash point, where our fire extinguishers are, and so forth and so on. Okay, thank you very much.